good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are whoever you are so today we are going to understand about amdahl's law so what is amdahl's law it states that the potential speed up gained by parallel execution of a program is limited by the portion that can be parallelized for suppose if you have 50 processes and only 20 can be parallelized parallelized means we can execute it parallelly so we can only execute 20 processes parallelly in 50 processes so the speed up gained will be 20 because it can only 20 processes can be executed parallelly then cpu time for a program can be expressed in two ways that is cpu time equal to cpu clock cycle for a program by clock rate or cpu time equal to cpu clock cycle for a program into clock cycle time so for suppose if you have cpu clock cycle for a program is 5 and clock rate is 10 so we can get a cpu time of 0.5 next in addition to the number of clock cycles needed to execute a program we can also count the number of instructions executed the instruction path length or instruction count so number of clock cycle instructions count on a average number of clock cycles per instruction so cpi can be set as cpu clock cycles of a program or for a program is divided by instruction count for example if cpu clock cycle for a program is 20 and instruction count is 10 then the clock cycle per instruction equal to 2 so by transposing instruction count so if we transpose instruction count in the above formula clock cycles can be defined as instruction count into clock cycles per instruction so therefore we can conclude that the cpu time that is cpu time equals instruction count that is ic into clock cycles per instruction that is cpi into clock cycle time thank you